Today we'll be reacting to Queen plus Adam Lambert performing Who Wants to Live Forever at the I Love White Festival in 2016. But before we start, this is a reaction video, it's a commentary video, so I'm gonna pause and provide some commentary along the way, but I'll of course link the full performance below so that you can check it out without me disturbing you. But you clicked reaction, so here we are. So the big stage, big light show. This song is dedicated to those that lost their life last night. What was that? In Orlando, Florida. Oh. Well, this was and the day anybody after. that has been victim of senseless violence or hatred. Oof, already with the emotions. Wow. I, did, I didn't know that. <clears throat> I did not know that this was the day after the Orlando shooting. This is going to be emotional. All right. Mm-hmm. There's no time for us. Beautiful voice. There's no place for us. What is this thing that builds our dreams? Yes, classical training. Gorgeous, gorgeous tone. And with that beautiful natural trilly vibrato and like his tone is just so clear but the way this hit me like a ton of bricks oh like i'm not over it this is the day after and the lyrics wow <laughs> Crowd. Who wants to live so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And with the crowd singing along. Wow, this is already a huge performance and we've barely started. And we know that this is just the scratching the surface of, of Adam's big voice. I mean, you can tell that he's been... He's been classically trained, I'm guessing, or, or I know he's done musical theater and a lot of musical theater people are also classically trained a lot of times. I was even classically trained back in the day. Um, so yeah, and, and when it comes to stuff like this, oh, you can hear that sort of operatic tone. It's so gorgeous. But also notice how he's saying, he's not singing forever like you would pronounce it if you were talking like, who wants to live forever he's saying who wants to live forever and and like we've discussed before on this channel when singers shape words in ways that are that would be sort of unnatural for them to to pronounce it that's usually because of their vocals and in this case you know it's hard to sing forever <laughs> forever <laughs> you know it sounds kind of kind of not great but forever, that ah uh, sound allows for, you know, his beautiful tone to shine. Just a little, little detail. Gorgeous. There's no chance for us. It's all decided for us. Yes. This world has only one sweet boy. His voice is so full, so rounded. That tone is so gorgeous. And here he adds, like, he's added a little bit more of that rock vibe to his sort of classical. Because, you know, I said he has an operatic tone, but obviously this is not an opera piece. But he plays sort of between that classical and adding sort of a little bit of that 
rasp sometimes, just a little hint. You know, Queen is a is a rock band and he's a rock star when he's singing with them. And I adore that about him, that he's both, that he can be the rock star and he can be like the musical theater star as well and, and, and sing both really, really beautifully, <laughs> you know, that he can combine them because not all musical theater people can do rock and make it sound believable or authentic and vice versa you know um but but he unites them and it's beautiful i, I love it Who wants to Rich tone, so rich. Who dares to love forever? Oh, when love is yes, that transition to over to that sort of growly or, or gritty, what do you call it? Disordered space, but yeah. Before that, uh, I was gonna say, listen also to the way that vowel changes when he goes higher. When when he goes higher, the the vowels change to be a little bit more wide. That's also to allow those upper frequencies to sort of uh, push through. You know, he belts beautifully, and oh my gosh, I want to explain this better, but I'm just I'm speechless, and I want to see more. You know. <laughs> Lighter and then yes, love that echo too that they put on it, the reverb. Yes, Brian. I didn't want to pause in his solo for obvious reasons, you know, uh, but I think it's really cool how, how he just looks exactly the same, just white, you know, it's like Gandalf the gray and Gandalf the white. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but, but yeah, he looks exactly the same, the same hair, the same like size, everything. It looks the same, a bit older and white, you know. <laughs> More chest to it here. Yes. He's a belting king. I mean, what, how, the stamina too, to be able to do that again and again and again and go higher and higher and with more power. Ah, oh, it's so good. He's such a beautiful belter. But again, notice the vowel changes as he go, goes higher. And when he goes back down again, he's more, they're more rounded again. But when he goes higher, he has to sort of widen them a bit too to get that belty sound, you know? And I would love to be here. Look at this beautiful, like big stage with this lighting, it's beautiful. And with a crowd singing along and everything, but they're, they're just in the background. It's not, cause sometimes the crowd sort of overpowers the singer and, and the band, but I think that's impossible with, with Adam Lambert. And it was impossible with Freddie Mercury. They, these guys can project. When we say project, when we're talking about singing, we're just like, the direction, you know, you, the volume, like it carries, it, it resonates big, you know? Oh, my Norwegian brain. I'm sorry, I can't explain this better in English, but, but yeah, that's what that is. That dramatic vibrato as well. Anyway. 
so crisp and clean after having belted. That's he's so impressive. What a performance. What a band, what a vocalist. I know that Adam Lambert is always compared to Freddie Mercury and for a good reason and there's a reason he's uh, playing with Queen, you know? But he's such a vocalist in his own right, you know? He has this unique tone as well. So I don't think that, you know, he sounds just like Freddie Mercury. No, he can sing as well as Freddie Mercury, you know? But, but he has a, a completely different tone and everything, you know? He, they're not the same. I, I love them both and I love them both singing with Queen and I think Adam was such a worthy person to, to do that but he's such an artist in his own right and I really hope to hear and see more of him also because of what he represents the look that he wears he identifies as a man and he still wears like makeup and, and these extravagant looks and all that I think that's really cool I love when people dare to be different and dare to be who they are. Not because it should be brave, but with the society the way that it is, you know, it, unfortunately, it is brave when you're just yourself. I think everyone should be allowed to be themselves, no matter what, you know? But enough about that. His vocals, beyond this world, you know, he's amazing. And what a song to sing after, you know, the day after that happened and not breaking down. This was so stunning. Thank you to everyone who recommended this. Leave a pink heart in the comments if you're still watching. And thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now